So I just came back from the arts and crafts shop. There's one here in my studio and um, it was the first time for me visiting this shop because it's really small and usually, um, yeah, I've never been there, maybe one, only one time. And so today I just wanted to, yeah, just to take some material for watercolors because last week I took place in a, in a master class. I mean, I took part to a master class about watercolor and I was just so, so happy and so surprised and I've learned a lot. And so since then I um, saw so this master class was on Saturday and then on Sunday I had to leave for the Bologna Children's Book Fair. I haven't got the time to to practice what I've learned. So today, which is the first um, day in the studio after the fair, I thought I would take some time just to create something, experiment because I'm actually really bad at watercolor and so yes now I will um, I mean after packing and everything you saw so far I, I thought I would take some time just to make some art and um, experiment a little bit but um, yeah this uh, this is what I wanted to show you what I uh, bought and I found this uh, tiny sketchbook which is so adorable and it was actually really cheap it was 590 euros uh, so it was really really cheap I would like to open this I think I will use this uh, for sketching maybe to use some markers and just to practice uh, more coloring with the markers and I hope the paper is um, nice enough it seems nice it's a little bit yellow the paper I, of course you cannot tell from the camera uh, but yeah it's um, 12 by 12 uh, centimeters and I I took a yellow one but there are several colors available the brand is Art Creation in case you want to check it out and then I, I purchased a couple of brushes for watercolors and one is number 10 and number 2 uh, because these are, I mean, these numbers are the ones that I used at, at the watercolor class. It's not the same brand, uh, but uh, yeah, they, these were the only two kinds available. So I want to check if they are nice enough. And so I will show you my setting. So this is how I organized my setting for this session of watercolor, I have um, a really big vase with with water because I I learned that it's um, it's actually really good to have a big vase with lots of water because it gets dirty less uh, less fast I would say, and then I have another one that I will try to maintain clean. I have a cloth here to if in case I have to dry the brushes. <laughs> You know, sometimes I think about the word that comes to my mind in German, so it's uh, it's not easy. Sometimes I mix a little bit. Anyway, these are some color that I had already. Um, this one is by uh, Winter and Newton, and this is a Japanese brand that I think I purchased on Amazon years ago. Um, because as I told you, I, I tried already with watercolor, but never had uh, really good uh, results. <laughs> so I think I will give it another try. I have my paper here on this pillow because I learned that it's uh, better to have the page um, yeah, just slightly up for the for the drops to come down. And this is what I've done at the at the class. So you can see actually already a little bit of improvement. This was the first that I've done. And then I think this one was the best, even though it's not perfect yet, but I I could see some improvement. I didn't have so much time to to practice at the class because the teacher had a lot actually to to explain to to show to us so i just had a few hours to to practice but um yeah i'm, I'm happy anyway i did also some like gradient trials and and stuff um yeah these were just some other trials uh, also over here 
And I also learned that with um, this kind of paper, it's actually easier to get a better result. This one is 100% cotton paper, which I finally learned that it's uh, the best paper that you can use. I wanted to purchase more of this paper at the, at the shop, but it was not available. I had to order that uh, on Amazon. And so I will wait for it to arrive. And yes, just in the meantime, I would like to experiment a little bit more and see what I remember about the masterclass. Hello, welcome to a new studio vlog. So today is Friday and it's the week uh, in which I've been to Bologna to the Children's Book Fair and I thought I will give you my uh, feedback about this experience, this year's experience and I think I will put here also some videos so you can have a look. Uh, so I've been there on Monday and Tuesday. The fair is usually four days. Uh, yeah, we will talk about that in a second. And I've been there from since the beginning, so it was really early. Never been there so early. Usually I've always arrived around 10, 11. Uh, but this time I wanted to uh, enter the fair really early to take a good spot on the illustrator's wall. And uh, so I could put my poster. Yeah, I went with some coloring pages. It was really packed with people since the beginning so there were actually more people than the other years to be honest so it seems like every year there's more and more uh, people joining the fair it has been a really nice experience anyway uh, also a little bit overwhelming because um, as I told you there was um, so so much people and it was also not so easy to take part to the portfolio reviews because there were really few this year to be honest and um, the queue was really long so I I actually um, haven't uh, queued for, for portfolio reviews with editors because I, I was also tired and uh, I didn't want to stand for hours also I mean in my case I already have uh, an, a publisher so um, it's a little bit uh, easy easier for me to say 
I don't care, you know, but I, I understand that for uh, aspiring illustrators, aspiring children's book illustrators, it is really important. But there were really few publishers opening, um, open to see illustrators, maybe 20, 25 um, in the whole fair, something like that. So that was a little bit sad. So anyway, I had already few appointments and so I could just uh, go to my appointments and then on Tuesday, I thought, okay, today I will take it easy because on Monday I've been there until late afternoon. Yeah, so I was really, really tired. I walked <laughs> around so much. Uh, because the, um, the fair is quite huge. So there is a lot to walk, to stand. And so I was really tired. And on Tuesday, I decided that I would uh, take it easy. So I went to the bookshop to have a look at all the books. And there were so many that I wanted to buy. But um, unfortunately, having to fly, my my luggage was a little bit limited. So, But I take, I've taken some pictures. And um, so probably... Probably I will purchase some books in the future. I also took part to a masterclass with Oliver Jeffers, which has been really, really inspiring. And I was so, so happy, so excited because he is my one of my favorite illustrator of all time. So I was just, um, yeah, it was amazing, seriously. And um, it was truly inspiring because he was also talking about... Um, remembering himself years and years ago walking around the Bologna Children's Book Fair as um, I was, as I did, as probably many of us have done, and to see that he was where we are now, it's uh, really inspiring because it has uh, become really, really huge in the field and uh, really, really successful. So this makes me think that everybody has to start somewhere, has to start from uh, from scratch, from the beginning, from having no contract uh, or having no idea where to fit. So that has been really inspiring. And then I, I got the chance to, um, to have have a book signed by him which was really nice I could like ex exchange a few words with him uh, and he's really a uh, really nice person it was lovely seriously and then I could um, I took some time to visit the exhibition as well there are so so many awards in the fair so I could have a look at the winners I could have a look at the um, exhibition for silent books for example which was also really interesting and it's a project that I would like to to do maybe one day why not the silent book uh, they they are really really um, beautiful so um, it was really inspiring and then I took part to the celebrations of the 50th anniversary of Hello Kitty so there was a little speech a little presentation about the the celebrations and the exhibitions that there would be uh, this year for uh, this event so it was nice to see what is coming there will be an exhibition right now it's in London uh, it's called if I don't get wrong uh, cute exhibition there will be another one here in Germany as well and then in uh, in fall it will be in Rome so I really hope I will be able to to go and have a look and then um, yeah there was also a small party with some uh, cupcakes and cookies that were delicious so it was really really nice and then yeah I just took some time to go around the fair look for books look for publishers and maybe write down some names and um, especially you you have the chance to see the the books that they publish and to see if your style can fit the catalog so um, it is always nice to take some pictures write down some names so uh, that if I have a project I can um, contact them and, and see if they are interested I also found that maybe next year I would uh, like to go there with a, with a project as well so with a, uh, maybe a story or a finished book or um, something 
there it's more for them that it's finished so that it's ready because I have the feeling that they are more open to see you when you have um, a, a project that it's finished so they can see if they are interested. This year I only had my portfolio with the uh, with the books that I published so far and with my illustrations so there was not really something to pitch. So the fair is from Monday to Thursday but I heard a friend of mine telling me that the first day it was already everything was uh, already finished so uh, there were just only few uh, stands still open but it was completely empty. Maybe it's not even worth to go on first day anymore unless you want to take your time to to look at the exhibition and so this was my experience I don't have any particular deal that I took during the fair but I'm happy uh, I've been there and I feel I felt really inspired uh, in fact uh, yesterday and today I just wanted to color uh, with some pencils with watercolors because I, f- I felt really inspired I'm currently working on a book already so I, I'm kind of focused on that and uh, it's okay if I don't have anything new at the moment because uh, there will be a lot to work uh, for me um, in the next few months so I, I think I'm fine and then yeah uh, apart from the fair I today I took some time to think about some new products for the shop because I feel uh, like it's a lot of time that I don't have a new collection and uh, also because Lately, I feel that any idea is not good or I feel like, uh, but what if it doesn't sell? What if uh, people don't like it? I don't know why, but recently I'm feeling uh, more insecure uh, in a way. So today I said, okay, but I need to make something new because many products are now sold out. So I would like to weather the the offer for products in my shop. And also the uh, coloring book uh, is sold out. So I'm really, really, um, really proud, really happy. I I didn't uh, print so many copies, so it's not a huge success, but I'm still happy. And today I ordered some new copies and I hope they will be here uh, next week. I think... This is it. I I just ordered also some new thank you cards for the shop, uh, which I hope I will show you in this uh, studio vlog. And now, yeah, I will continue with my day.
thank you cards arrived and I thought we could open this together. Quite a lot. <laughs> Maybe too many. No, anyway, let's see. Oh, so, good. so these are also oh, cute. I love the quality. These are the new postcards. I have done a, like a poll on Instagram some weeks ago asking which characters uh, should I feature on my new postcards, uh, on my new thank you cards. And uh, Paco and Honey uh, were the winner. So that's why this illustration is with them. And also the back is uh, finally uh, a new one. And uh, because before it was like this, and it has been like this for quite a while, for probably a year or even more. And so now it's, uh, it's changed a little bit. I really love that you can actually write behind this postcard. The, um, the paper is really nice. And yeah, so I will dismiss this, which are quite uh, wintry uh, feeling uh, and uh, welcome this one, which are more yeah spring, kind of spring and summer. Um, feeling and um, and yes so one postcard comes with each order on my Etsy shop so in case you want a free postcard <laughs> you you can just uh, order something from my shop and you will get a postcard and then here there's always space for a freebie I usually put a sticker um, for free as well so that's really nice and I'm also waiting for the books for the coloring books they should arrive today so hopefully uh, tomorrow I will put them back uh, in the shop because I got them delivered at home because here in my studio I, I usually don't stay the whole day so it's safer to have them delivered at home and I don't know if they will arrive either today or tomorrow but anyway uh, they are here soon I, I received some messages of people uh, that wanted a restock so I'm really really happy I'm happy that people looks for my for my book for my coloring book so yeah it's really nice <laughs> The books are here again so they're back in stock i will put them on my shop again and uh, yeah if you want to color a little bit and have fun and relax with some cute illustrations you can check them on my etsy shop <laughs> <laughs> 